Hey, my name is Rich Severson with Guitar College, and uh, by the way, that song was called Blue Moon. And what I wanted to demonstrate today is actually this guitar. This is a Eastman, it's called a T49V for vintage. Now, <clears throat> the funny thing about this guitar is it's based off their three th or a 175 copy which is a 371. The only difference is about three months of labor um, because what they've done is a completely different finish. And you know what's funny about jazz guitars is everything matters with the sound of a guitar. Everything, okay? Even the car you drove to the gig in. It just everything matters. So the finish is actually a pretty important thing. You know, a lot of times... Uh, uh, guitars, the uh, less expensive models, they put a polyurethane finish on them, which is very hard and brittle, and it cures chemically, I believe. Whereas a lacquer and a varnish finish, of course, has to cure just with air drying. Now, this guitar sounds like a 175. So if you want to sound like Joe Pass, this is the guitar to get and it's it's got that Joe sound that sound that only Joe got now, I've had a couple students call me and, you know, they've said, Rich, you know, I've, I've got a 175 and I've been trying for years to get that thing to sound like an L5. And you know what the answer is? It will never sound like an L5. Why? <clears throat> Did you ask why? I'll tell you why. Because the position of the pickup. An L, that's number one. That's the, you notice how much closer this is to the bridge. Every time you get closer to the bridge, the pickup placement is going to sound a little different. That's number one. So it's never going to sound like an L5. I don't know why you would really want it to, because it's going to sound like a 175. It's like asking a 175 or an L5 to sound like a 175. It just ain't going to happen. So, but this particular... Uh, guitar has got all the features of a 175. It's laminated top, sides and back, maple, three-piece neck though, 
maple. Um, but the finish is this vintage lacquer finish that really lets the wood breathe. And I think that's why this particular guitar sounds a lot different than your 371s and 372s. So I saw it at the NAMM show, I had to get one, and I wanted to share it with you. So tell you what, I wanna go close up and we'll talk about a few of the features. First thing you notice is that all the <clears throat> silver, the chrome on this, has all been antiqued. Now that, that's a, a process in its own that takes quite a while. So this is all a dull antique finish. Same with the uh, tailpiece. Now we do have a rosewood bridge, a uh, plastic three-ply plastic pickguard, but you're gonna see first the antique uh, finish on that. Now take a look at the finish here. It looks like this guitar is 30 years old and been played hard and put away wet. So it's kind of funny if you take a look at it. Let me see if you can see this. You can see where that is. Always, it looks like it's been played for many, many years. And the finish on it is a very thin, worn finish. And again, it lets that wood breathe. It's got your five ply binding, single ply binding around the F holes, five ply around the guitar, uh, single binding on the uh, neck as well. Plus we've got our trapezoid um, inlays. And by the way, this comes stock with a Seymour Duncan Seth Lover pickup. And that makes a big giant difference. And as well as the electronics in it is an upgraded electronic. So all those things add to the sound of this guitar. Now the other things about this guitar is it has a bone nut. Um, the 371 is plastic and <clears throat> also it has your 24 and 3 quarter inch scale Gibson scale most Eastman's are 25 inch scale so they are advertising on their web page that this is 24 and 3 quarters so I really ought to get my uh, ruler out and check it out but it feels like it is so I'm not too worried about that so if you're used to or you want a 335 sound this is incredibly close man to an old Gibson G whiz it's it's got a, just a beautiful little mellow voice and the thing about what you know the 175s they went to a press top because the solid top split or, you know sometimes if they're dropped and what have you these are pretty tough so uh, give this a look at I think you'd be pleasantly surprised on this guitar and I like I said it just feels like you're playing an old vintage jazz box it just feels good so anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, I will talk at you later. Bye for now.